Hi, this is Kerry with Learn DaVinci Resolve, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Tangent Ripple color panel. Stay right there. If you do a lot of color grading, a color panel, control panel, can be a very, very useful tool. Uh, Tangent makes uh, this little ripple, and it's a, it's a nice little device. We're going to kind of go through it doesn't have anything in the way of customization. It's some very basic controls, but it's a third of the price basically of a Blackmagic color panel. So we'll do a little comparison a little later, but I want to show you how this works. So I have some footage up here on the screen and you can see the main color panels there. And just like, you know, I could use a mouse and drag them, drag the things over and stuff. I never quite liked using that. It just it works, but it's not as clean. Using the ripple, I can just move the balls very slightly and really dial in a look, to me, a lot easier than using a mouse. The balls control the color wheels, and these dials on the top control the exposure. So as I spin the wheel, I adjust the exposure for each of my lift, gamma, and gain. Now, with the tangent ripple, there's no way to change the offset. Uh, it'd be nice if one of the, the buttons on here would do that, but it doesn't. Next to each of the exposure wheels is a reset. So I can reset the grade on each of those three things. Now there's also a B button on here and that is for bypass. So once I have a grade set up on here, I can simply hit B and bypass the grade and go back and forth to see how that looks. That's the only controls that are on here. Unfortunately, it would be nice if Blackmagic allowed the Tangent Ripple to have a little more customization to it, but it's locked down and the people at Tangent say, that is a black magic thing. There's nothing they can do because black magic would have to map certain functions to this, which there's no need to because they have their own. Now, question is, does it work? Yes, absolutely. It works great. I really love being able to use it for color grading. I think it really enhances the experience of doing the color grades. I think it makes it faster. It's more accurate, more precise for matching shots next to each other. I think it's way faster than going back and forth with the mouse because I can easily just move between two of them. I can actually adjust two of them at a time if I wanted to with my hand. I could probably actually do three if I wanted to. A little cumbersome there, but very good tool. And for the price. Now, if price isn't an option, then you absolutely should go with the Black Magic color panels. The balls on them are much heavier, so they have a, a nice feel to them. The ring around them for exposure is very, very nice. You have a lot more controls for managing your nodes. And if you go up to the uh, mini panel, you can also adjust the curves, which I think is wonderful. It's a great way of doing that. You have a lot more control, but you're paying almost $3,000 for the mini panel and $9.99 for the micro panel, which doesn't buy you a whole lot more functionality than this, other than you can hit a key and do the offset and you have a little bit more control with some other things. But if you're going to get a color panel, the $3,000 mini is the cream of the crop and it's well worth the price if you do a lot of color grading. If you are just getting started and you want something that is going to work and give you better control over your color grading, the Tangent Ripple is a fantastic way of going about it. Uh, there will be a link in the description below. Uh, I will say I did not purchase this. They sent it to me for review. I'll be sending it back. Um, it's like I said, would I buy it? I'm not sure yet. Uh, I need to play with it a little bit more to really see if this is where I want to go or whether I really want to invest the money in a higher end panel. But I think for anyone getting started, 
this is a good choice simply because you can get into it for around $350 and it's going to really help your color grading. So that's the Tangent Ripple. As you can see, like I said, it works really good in DaVinci Resolve. It also does work in Adobe Premiere and you can customize some of the settings if you're using Premiere. So if you're going back and forth between Premiere and Resolve, then this is absolutely a great purchase because it works with both products and you have a lot of custom, customiz customization ability in Premiere. So that's my quick little review of the Tangent Ripple. I would definitely say check it out. Check out some of the other reviews that are online and see if this is something that is going to work for you. Uh, it does work for me, but after playing with a black magic panel, man, it's, it's hard not to want one of those in a bad way. But for the price, it's hard to go wrong with this one because 350 versus 3000 is a major, major, major price difference. Um, if you get a chance to go to a show like NAB, check them both out and really see what uh, the Tangent Ripple is. it feels like. It has a fairly plastic feel to it. Uh, it's very light. The Black Magic one is very heavy. This I could put in my backpack or my suitcase and take it with me to a hotel to help with my coloring. I'm not going to haul around a Black Magic panel. That thing weighs like 30 plus pounds. It's very, very heavy and it's very big, where this is very small and extremely lightweight. So, Trade offs there as well. Portability for on the road color grading, you cannot beat the Tangent Ripple. The Black Magic, not portable at all. It is way, way too heavy to be lugging around. So, on a set or in a hotel, on the road, a small desk, something like that, this is going to be a better choice. So, I think that kind of covers the pros and the cons between the Tangent Ripple and the Black Magic ones. And I hope you enjoyed this. If you want to see more reviews, please post in the comments below. Let me know the types of things that you would like to see. Don't forget, we are having our giveaway right now for the AccuSonus audio plugins. Just go to that video and subscribe and comment and be entered in to win that one. Be sure and subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon to be notified anytime I put out a new video. I really thank you all for all of your support, your comments, your feedbacks, and your suggestions. We do have more uh, hardware reviews and software reviews coming up that are all geared around filmmaking and how to improve uh, you know, things within DaVinci Resolve, different plugins different hardware, things like that to improve your filmmaking. I know not everyone likes to see those. They want maybe to stick to just Resolve, but I think it's going to help uh, a little bit. Monday, as always, will be videos on Resolve. Friday will either be Fusion or Fairlight, and Wednesday will be Random Wednesday with things like hardware reviews. So I hope you like this stuff. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you next time. Bye-bye.